So yeah, guys, like I said, this one kind of kicked my ass. Uh, and it's, it just, especially because I'm so far and it's already late, all these little things add up, you know what I'm saying? So, so welcome back, guys. Uh, it's currently Saturday. I'm helping out the on car guy. Half a mile, turn left into the parking mm. lot. I basically left my house at around 3.30 and I'm barely pulling up to the side at 5.41. Yeah, 5.41, so basically like two hours or so of travel. Uh, I'm up here in Northern Cali, up here in uh, Sonoma, Sonoma, California. I'm basically looking at two AC systems at two different locations. Uh, the first one is just a no pool. The second one is a warranty call for an AC unit that was just installed. So we're gonna see what's what's happening with that one. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up to the one that is not warranty. And the destination is on your right. And hopefully, I learned something today, and you guys learned something. And see if we can figure this thing out before it's way too late. Oh, it's right there. I don't think I've been to this restaurant before. But yeah, lately what I've been trying to do, guys, is drink a water bottle uh, before every single service call. Because when I'm doing the service call, sometimes I just forget to drink water. So I try to chug it before I go up there. That way it kind of prevent from having a damn heat stroke. I don't want to live forever. Alright, let's go. Cause I don't want to go through. Uh oh. I got my smart probes in there. So this one's off. So most likely this one's gonna be with the off thermostat. Hey. What the <laughs> hell? What? All right, so somebody's been messing with that one. Uh, freezer and cooler. And then that's gonna be for the front. Most likely on this one we got a back and dancing because it's working but it's not spinning hard enough. Let me just check the filters real quick. Filters look clean. No ice build up. It's only one stage is running. I'm pretty sure this one's first stage, if I remember correctly. Okay, that's first stage. Yo! Hell yeah! <laughs> Shit. Somebody left a brand new meter here. And it's a good type too, the one that has a magnetic on the back. Oh shit. So this just made my day guys. That's pretty freaking dope. Now I got like five of them. <laughs> oh shit. So that means somebody's been, somebody has been here before and they were probably messing with it because look at all the screws right there too all the screws and of course that one's completely off so
So let me get the, well, let me use my brand new meter. So let me go ahead and shut it off. Anytime I check for ground guys, I'd rather just check at the compressor itself. I kinda don't trust none of the wires. Let's make sure it works. Yep, continuity. All right, guys. So I checked the windings on the compressor. The compressor windings are fine. Um, so I don't know why they took it out of the fake. It's not short of the ground. Windings are fine. And then I don't know if you guys can tell, but the X there's an X on the, also on the capacitor. I'm thinking that's gonna be for the condenser fan motors. Um, so why would I have an X on it? So now that the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna check charge, see if there's also refrigerant inside the system. Um, if not, then we'll go from there. So, see, cause they, they took it out of the whole thing, so. And let me see if they took it out of here too. Y1, Y2, Y1. Where's Y2? No, Y2 is still connected. So. So what's this wire now for? Fires the switches are hooked up. Alright, so just hooked up, yep. Yep. Alright, let's check pressures. Down, down. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but zero PSI is zero PSI on the second stage. So I'm guessing that's why they took it out of the... Let me see. Just in case my things are messed up. Nope charge at all so what I'm gonna do next I'm just gonna take this off so it's basically running only one compressor so that's probably why it's so damn hot in the front so basically this first stage compressor is trying to make up for this one and those two over there so that's why it's so damn crazy hot in, inside so let me just put everything back in Put this here. I'm gonna have to put this panel back on. I don't even know how this thing came off. Jesus Christ, these units are trash. Alright, let's put this panel back on. I want to give you guys a quick tip. Um, anytime you guys have multiple issues with the store itself, don't go and start working on everything you're gonna write right, like right away. Um, what I like to do is I like to choose pick one and then check everything on that unit then move on to the next one because if you start checking every single one of them you're gonna make yourself go crazy and it's, it's not gonna work um, but if you guys notice in the beginning I kind of went quick through both of them to kind of see you know the whole thing going on um, so that's why I decided to work on this one first because I saw this thing was disconnected so I like okay so this would be simpler and it kind of worked out so what we're gonna have to do uh, we're gonna go ahead and submit a quote to do a whole leak check on the system. I can't do it right now because, like I said, I'm two hours, or two and a half hours away from home, and it's on call, so it, it's not gonna work out. We're gonna have to get quoted out and see what what we go from there. I mean, this unit should just be replaced because these things are trash. So now that I know what's going on with this, now I'm gonna go ahead and check the other one with my brand new meter. <laughs> So look what I found. I guarantee you this one's gonna be for the other unit over there. That's the thing I don't like guys, is whenever you come behind somebody else and it's, I, I don't know, it just me personally, I just, I just feel weird. So let's go ahead and check that unit out and go from there. So before I even turn on the system guys, uh, right on top. I want to give it a whole kind of view on it. As you guys can tell, uh, first stage is disconnected and it's kind of been like this for a while because look at this. Or that, oh, what the heck is that? It's probably a leak seal. I don't know. Let me know guys. I don't know what that is. So filters look kind of clean. Da, da, da. 
Uh, so where's the power? See, they even left the power wires like this. Jesus Christ. So I'm gonna go ahead and put wire nuts on these. Uh, nothing seems disconnected on those over there. A lot of times when units are like this damaged, guys, um, you gotta know when to back off and just ride everything down and basically pull out a new system. Because you don't know the things that this unit's been through, you don't know what people's been doing to it. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and put wire nuts on these, turn on the system for first stage, and then go from there. I mean, second stage. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so power is off. All right, let's turn it on. Should sure move this wire. I guess so we do have some gas in here. We have 120, 123 PSI on both sides. So before I even turn it on, let me make sure this thing's not hitting. So now let's just pray nothing explodes. Okay, floor kicked on. Jesus. And now we got no 24 volts the board so I'm gonna go ahead and just wait wait for it to kick on it's probably gonna be on delay okay. so what I'm gonna go ahead and do in the meantime turn this on all right guys so right now I'm getting five flashes on the board which means LPSI compressor lockout. So I'm guessing that's gonna be low pressure. Yeah, it should be low pressure. So I did notice whenever I pressed the, the shredder cord on the discharge, it would just vapor, it wasn't no liquid. So it most likely gonna be low on charge. So I'm gonna get R22, because I believe this is R22. Uh, yeah, R22. So I'm gonna get some R22, boost it up, see what happens, see if it kicks on. And then go from there. So this is what happens when you forget your rope. You have to use your extension cord. Jesus. So while I'm waiting for this to reset, I'm gonna go ahead and start measuring the curbs, the unit itself, model number, serial number, like this. So that way, if they does the code does get approved, we can just go ahead and get everything set up. So. Uh, let's get the tent measure and start measuring from there to there usually when you measure the curves this is how i do it i measure from here where it ends and here and then i'll also measure the unit itself just to do it also i like to measure like i said i like to measure the whole thing the whole system from there to there how tall it is how wide it is everything all right guys, so this is what's going on. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's a leak inside the evaporator. Um, also, the line said it has a bunch of oil that I didn't even see when I got here. So what I did, I disconnected Y1 and Y2, and I'm only gonna have the blower running for them. Uh, got all the measurements done. So they're gonna have to get a quote to get all these replaced. This is when you guys gotta learn went to back off and just put everything on the notes and let the management put in the quote. Uh, when they're, the, they're this damaged guys, you better off, like I said, backing off, letting management know and let them decide what they want to do. Because I mean, look, they just, there's no missing a compressor. Say the uh, first stage compressor line set, it's probably all, look at this, probably all damaged from inside. 
missing the condenser fan motor uh wiring was touching the, basically the coil so a leak so that's what i'm saying you're better off just backing off and writing everything down and let the management see what they want to do so damn look at all this oil too so the, right now fans running only so that's what we want all right guys let's get out of this room let's turn this one's off Hi right, guys, so I explained to the manager everything that's going on. Um, I did tell him that at least I got one stage running uh, and basically the floor running on this one. So, like I said, I'm, I told him that I'm gonna go ahead and send all the information in to management. That way they can get this thing done ASAP because I mean, it's about 85, 90 degrees inside the store. They're, they're burning inside of there. So I did all I could. Right onto East um, Avenue. So, like I said, guys, you just gotta know when to stop and then just let management do the rest. So now I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the next call, and it's already 7:09, and it's about 27 minutes away. Yeah, 27. 20, yeah, 27 minutes. Oh shit. So let's go get this thing done. This is probably the smallest damn roof hatch I've ever seen. Even my skinny ass couldn't fit in there. I get Jesus. All right, so is the kitchen I see. I get this brand new. They've been having issues with. So let's check it out. It's a train. Condensate water. It kind of looks a little bit dry. Power is on. It hasn't been running. All right, guys. So let me go ahead and open it up and see what we find. For some reason, it kind of smells like something's burnt. I have to check. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Check here. Nothing out of the ordinary. All right guys, so let me show you guys what I've found so far. So I am getting voltage to the unit on all three legs. I checked the uh, continuity on those fuses in the back right there. They're all good. Uh, checking 24 volts on the transformer because if you guys notice none of my LED lights are on either that one is not on also so check this one I am getting 24 volts coming out check this one and I'm getting zero and I don't know if you guys can tell but the little popper thingy resetter on the top is uh, tripped so let me go ahead and reset it All right, so now we reset it. So, turn it back on. Nothing popped. No lights are on still. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it tripped again. Oh yeah, it keeps tripping. Oh no, so. We got a short somewhere. Shit. Let me go ahead and uh, check all the wiring, making sure nothing is touching ground. And then uh, basically go from there because it's about to get dark. Another thing too, I forgot my glasses. I only brought my sunglasses. They're all prescription. So it sucks because I'm gonna be fucking driving home without glasses. So, all right, guys. So let me go ahead and check this. See what we find. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I found. Uh, basically, that transformer it was tripped. 
So what I started doing, I started insulating everything on the system. Uh, so I cut off the thermistor wire to make sure my thermistor wire wasn't grounded or anything like that because a lot of the times when they do these installs, they like to reuse the old thermistor wire. So that was the first thing I did. Um, second thing I did, I disconnected first stage, second stage, uh, crank heater. I mean, I disconnected basically everything that might have cost it. I know that's high voltage, but still I did it just to be safe. Uh, disconnected first stage, second stage, nothing happened. Still tripped it. Uh, disconnected the condenser fan motors. Also still tripped it. Uh, so I started looking at the diagram, uh, trying to see what the heck's happening. I started disconnecting each wire to see maybe that was causing it. Nothing, it still tripped it. So what ended up happening was, let me, I'm gonna go ahead and redo the whole thing. That way you guys see what I'm talking about. So, all right guys, so let me show you guys how everything was working. So I put the issue back on, so everything does its thing. So I'm gonna turn it on. Boom, boom, it popped. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but the look, the little um, knob thing is tripped. So what I did, I also started going through all the board connections, everything, and this is what I found. Uh, so let me go ahead and shut it off. Reset it. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this one. Leave it right there. Turn it back on. And boom. Boom, my lights are on. So if you go to the diagram, uh, it will lead you to the sensor. So here's the wiring. I'm gonna take it off. So leave it like that. Reset it. Turn it back off. Turn it back on. Lights are on, lights are on. So now, let me go ahead and connect this. Connect it. And boom, it's staying on. So basically we got a bad uh, sensor. Um, I had to call my co-worker for some backup because I was kind of getting frustrated. Uh, so me and him figured out that we where that one was going to and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah guys, I mean, bad sensor. So that's it right there. This thing kind of kicked my ass because it's kind of late. Um, and it just sucks. So yeah guys, so let me go ahead and test it. Turn on the fan. All right, fan is on. Good. Next. So the next one is economizer. And then cool one. Cool number two. Running though, so that's that's what counts. Oh, yeah, buddy, looking good. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it off. Uh, not the unit itself, but uh, the sensor. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it disconnected. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and order a new one. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap everything up, go down, and then go from there.
why, I don't know why, but she's turning on the van. It's probably the best feeling ever. So yeah, guys, like I said, um, that one kind of, kind of, kind of threw me off. So I'm gonna go ahead and order a new sensor. I left the bypass for now, and then uh, we'll pro I'll probably be the one coming back to replace that sensor. I'll probably film it. Um, but yeah, guys, I had to call my my manager Rolando for a little hand on it because uh, he has a lot of experience on these type of systems. So it always helps out whenever your your service manager knows what the fuck he's talking about, you know, instead of just being a sales guy. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and head home. Let me show you guys how long it's gonna take me to get home. Shit, where's my phone? Oh, right here. Let me show you guys how long it's gonna take me to get home. So, it's gonna take me about a two hours, about maybe 145 if I'm going 65. So I'll probably go to Fairfield, I'll go to Napa, Fairfield, Lodi, Stockton, then down. Nah, I'll probably go through Oakland since there's no traffic. Road to series. Proceed to Main Street, then turn left. But yeah guys, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm tired. I had fun today. I had fun, I don't know why, I just, I had a good day today. Maybe because I found that meter uh but yeah don't forget about the merch coming soon and that's pretty much it peace out